Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this tutorial we're going to go over the flow commands in Rhino. The first one we're going to flow these objects along this curve. So before we do this uh, it'll ask for a base a base curve. So we're just going to take a line and draw a line along uh, the line that these these, cur these objects are already along. So this will uh, keep these in respect to this uh, to this curve this line that we just drew. So then we will type in flow. It'll ask for select the objects to flow along curve. Okay. Press enter and then ask for the base curve. It's the one that we just drew. And then it'll ask for the target curve. The uh, ask for a couple options to copy yes. We'll just copy duplicate our items. If we say rigid, it will keep the, our objects the same geometry. It won't uh, really deform them. So we'll say rigid. Uh, no, and then it'll deform them, and then stretch will it will say yes, and that will select uh, drag them along the entire curve. So now we'll select the target curve, and there you go. These objects flowed with deformation and stretched along the entire length of that curve. The next command is the flow along surface command. So we'll take these. Uh, this, these objects and place them on this on the surface. So just like the base curve, it'll ask for a base surface. So we'll just take a uh, regular rectangular surface and add that to the bottom of these of uh, these objects. And that this way, since uh, these proportionally fill out the entire surface on this surface, they will uh, be stretched to fill out this entire uh, lofted surface. So then we'll just do flow along surface. Both of these commands are under the transform drop down menu, by the way. So it'll ask to select, select objects. We'll select our group, press enter, select a base, base surface, and then target surface. And there you have it. The, uh, these objects are float along that surface with the non-rigid deformation and proportional to the entire surface. Thanks for watching.